Hey guys, what's up? Hope you guys are doing great. It's Josh here and uh, let this car roll by in the backyard. And uh, got a question from one of our customers, uh, Candice, and she was asking about pricing her photo booth. So I decided, um, I'm sure a lot of you guys who are starting off probably have the same question. And so I wanted to share my thoughts on um, how we handle pricing and what we do. There's many different ways to handle this and go about this and so you'll find a lot of information so I'm just going to share the way you know we do things here it's what worked for us and worked for me in the past and we've been really successful with it so um, so about pricing your photo boot services okay so we don't show prices on our website okay and the reason for that is you never know who's coming to your website okay it could be someone that is throwing a backyard party right in their backyard and they only have a budget of 200 300 400 dollars okay you could also have someone on your website who is the marketing manager for capital one okay and so both of those people who come to your website which you will not know who it is right because you can't really tell who's on the website when they're going to come those two people have different budgets okay and so when they have different budgets you can miss you can leave a lot of money on the table just getting out of the sun here you can leave a lot of money on the table if you have your prices shown on there so let's say if you have package a package b package c right so package a is two hours for 400 three hours for 500 and uh, and then four hours for 600 okay then that person from capital one knows okay well they have a fifteen hundred dollar budget for their company party and they only have to spend 600 bucks with you and so they got you know nine hundred dollars left over for the budget that they can go and spend on food or spend with other vendors instead of spending that money with you right because when you go to the event for Capital One, you'll see the face painter, the balloon person, the people serving, you know, cakes or food or whatever the case is. That all came from a budget. And people call in, they have this budget in mind. And if you have your package price listed, you're leaving money on the table. Okay, so the way we price our stuff here is we will uh, get the lead uh, from the website. Okay, so we ask them, you know, get a, get a price quote now, it's free whatever like if you visit our website you know photobootdallas.org you know there's a form it says get a quote and that form asks them the questions that we need to know okay where are these uh, how much money do they have to spend right so if, the, if we know that they have some money our prices are going to go up i'm not going to charge uh capital one the same price i charge someone who's having a backyard birthday party okay so when they get on the phone Event is it is it how many people are they expecting where is the event going to be held at you know you should know these uh, cities in your uh, in your town right in your city as to where people have more money than others right so obviously like uh, if it's somewhere south of Dallas you know in uh, poor an area you know they may not have as much budget as someone uh, you know in uptown Dallas okay so uh, I know when they call in and they tell me oh it's gonna be at this venue I can kind of gauge and see like okay they got money or they don't have money so I know what to price quote them so you need to get exactly uh, the, the answers you need in order to give them that that price range okay and so that's how you make a decision based on what price to give them when they call in so you'll have to uh, know how to calculate that on the fly uh, if you're speaking on the phone with them or if you get the lead you know to your email and you email them a quote uh, you you'll know right if it's you know Mary Jones at capital one.com okay that's that's gonna be our corporate quote that's gonna be different pricing right versus Mary Jones 23 at gmail.com right so that's gonna be a private event Okay, so that's how that's how we do our pricing here and then as far as actually pricing the booth based on after we did that initial initial research uh, on the customer knowing how much a budget they have um, you know we base it on 
uh, just market research. So we'll we'll call our competitors and we will ask them how much they're charging. We'll look on their website. Sometimes they they post their prices, uh, or people are price shopping us. You know, they'll ask us. Um, they'll say that you know so and so is charging this amount. Okay, and so. You, you need to know what's happening in your area for how much you can charge for now obviously you're gonna have those people that are charging you know hundred dollars an hour and you have those people who are premium that are show up on the first page of Google and they charging you know 250 300 dollars an hour you don't want to price yourself too low uh, it, in the beginning you can come in and undercut the people that's the strategy that we used that's how we got a lot of business and we built up our name and it's still a viable strategy for you guys to use but just always get that information ahead of time because you just never know who's calling where they're calling from and who's visiting your website okay um, so they if you are a PBI customer you do get access to our, our price list uh, for our photo booth rental uh, business keep in mind those are prices for Dallas every city and every state is going to be different because uh, if there's you know a lot more spending in New York uh, state of New York versus you know Texas New York weddings I think it was hundred thousand on average per wedding is spent right and here in Texas it may be a little bit less and that's just because of the cost of living you know the price of things and, and all that so uh, little tip hopefully that helps you guys if you have any questions comment below uh, I'll get to them thanks for watching and uh, guys take care subscribe and let me know what other questions you have uh, so I can make more videos for you take care bye